Hello, welcome to Curriculum Night video for seventh grade math for the 2021-2022 school year. My name is Lauren Dolby and this is my 10th year teaching at IMS. I teach sixth and seventh grade math. The first thing that I want to share is about the democratic classroom, which is how I run my classroom. If you look at the first image in the middle with the red dot in the center, imagine the teacher being at the center and all the students being the black dots. Um, going outward in the circle. And on the right side, we have a web where the teacher might be in the middle and then the students are all connected together. And that is um, a visual of how um, I run my classroom. I focus on problem solving, which includes class meetings. Um, each student has responsibility through their class jobs. And it's really about um, working together um, and students also helping to contribute to lead um, our classroom. The Common Core State Standards are um, what we align our teaching to in math class. Um, your students, if they have attended school in Washington or many states in the United States, um, have been taught according to the Common Core State Standards. Um, you can Google them if you want to learn more about them. Then we have, these are the, the topics that we'll be going through this year. It's in the order um, on the screen. It's also the same order that the textbook is laid out in. And then we have our curriculum. This was new um, last school year. We um, implemented it, which was really great, really awesome. When your students log in, which we have not done in class yet, but we will do shortly, um, they will log in using Google, their school Google account, and they'll be able to see all of the units. And then um, in each lesson, they will have these resources available to them. So they can click um, unit vocabulary, they might choose to um, click on the practice, which those will be assigned on Schoology, but um, also great resources um, for extra practice or um, reviewing for a test or quiz. And then growth mindset. In our math class, we really focus on having a growth mindset. Um, some students think that they're not math students or they're not good at math. and um, we might say we might not get it yet, but we're continuing to work on it, that we really value mistakes because when we make mistakes, we grow and we learn. Um, and we want our classroom to be a safe environment to make those mistakes and to learn. You may have heard that IMS is moving towards grading for equity. I have been fully implementing it um, last year and this year, um, and many teachers already are, and next year all teachers here will be implementing this practice. Um, grades are given on a scale of four, three, two, one, or not enough evidence. In grading for equity, only assessments will be graded. These assessments measure a student's mastery of a grade level standard. Um, and they have multiple opportunities to demonstrate proficiency through retakes, et cetera. And not all assessments will have an opportunity for a four. Every standard will, but in the beginning of a unit, um, they haven't necessarily gotten to the point in the progression to get a four, but every standard will have an opportunity for a four. I've been doing this, like I said, last year and started a bit the year before, and I've seen a really positive impact on student learning. Last year during hybrid and remote learning, I used the flipped classroom, which was recording videos and posted them to Schoology for the math lessons. I'm going to continue to use this model um, because it really gives students flexibility in their learning that they can watch it at their own pace. They can rewatch it if they want to. There are interactive questions that give them feedback. My hope is that students will get a chance to start videos um, in class and if needed, finish them at home. And this is also a great resource for parents. If you wanna support your students, you can watch the videos with them. The daily practice, there will be two options for each daily practice, a learning pathway and a stretching pathway. I really want to give students choice to decide where they, um, where they are in their learning. Um, are they practicing and learning the new concept or are, are they ready to stretch themselves? Um, and they're always willing to try both or switch which one they're working on from day to day or even within a day. Maybe they try the stretching and it um, feels too challenging. They can go back to the learning or if they're on the learning and they're like, wow, I really understand this. I want to challenge myself with the stretching. Um, I recommend no more than 30 minutes of on task practice. Um, and if they are struggling, if your student is struggling, um, they can send me a message to let me know and I can support them. The answer key is posted to Schoology so they can check their work. And when they'll de they're done, they will take a picture of their work and submit it on Schoology. 
Lastly, we're gonna take a visit over to the Schoology page. Um, each assignment that um, is assigned will be posted to Schoology and it includes directions um, for how to do it. It also will include PDFs or um, links um, that are needed to complete the assignment. So there is no, my dog lost my homework, uh, or sorry, my dog ate my homework or I lost the homework. There's always an opportunity to download it again. They can open it in Notability or they can print it at home or at school. Lastly, if you have any questions, there's a Google form you can fill out and submit and I will get back to you with your answers. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.